the power of verbal speech. Hello, my name is Erin, or Erin Dromeda. I'm a 24-year-old lady in training from the UK. I like video games, mysteries, science fiction, long walks in the forest, and spreadsheets. I've always been a creative at heart, and I'm one of those people who takes on too many ideas. Throughout my life, I've attempted to make music, draw comics, record let's plays, make video games, lots of stuff. But throughout it all, my biggest passion is writing. As a result of my chronic jack-of-all-trades behaviour, thanks ADHD, I'm kind of good at a lot of things, but I sometimes struggle to have the drive and extended motivation to be great at anything. But two things I love are writing and video game music, and that's brought me here to my longest and most fulfilling creative venture yet. If labels are your thing, I have absorbed a couple into my aura. I'm demisexual, meaning I'm functionally asexual without a strong connection to a person. And though it may sound it, that is not just normal. It means 80% of modern music is absolute gobbledygook to me, and I have absolutely no interest in playing bedroom scrabble on a day-to-day -day basis, which certainly helps me focus. I also say things like bedroom scrabble. That being said, I'm not straight. I don't really know what I am anymore. I just kind of like who I like. Uh, so yes, that is me, Erin. Thank you for asking. Future questions will be answered more briefly if I can stop rambling. This is kind of a two-way tie at the moment between the deep blue of outer space and the faded pastel-y yellow orange of a star in a child's storybook. I have a space vibe, but a playful space vibe. I joined a Discord server headed up by Shadow at Noon, who was one of the most well-known compilers of video game jams for a spell. These days, I think she still does upload the odd mix. Uh, but over there, compilations were a common topic, and someone mentioned how there wasn't a cooking mix they used. But I was in need of something to do, so eh, screw it, give it a go. At that point, I thought, what if I could make more mixes based around incredibly specific themes? So I made more. A detective theme mix because I love mystery, a mix for walking through a town because people wanted walking mixes and town mixes, uh, then I took suggestions by asking people to send me emojis. Uh, this was a good pastime, uh, but then Ezenator, a never well-known compiler and honestly probably my main inspiration, shared my town mix to his channel. Uh, loads of people really liked it and I liked making people happy, so that gave me the push to keep going where normally my motivation for a project would wane like a moon with too much to do. I have a system of getting songs together for a given topic. Uh, first, I'll go through my mega playlist of video game music and I'll find anything that fits. I'll get reminded of other games and tracks by association. Uh, then I'll check around on YouTube. Uh, other compilation channels often remind me of obvious picks I may have missed or been unaware of. And there's a channel called The Gamer's Bench with a bunch of themed playlists that I like to recommend. If, after my personal research I'm still lacking, I go to a couple of friends, and also the VG Mixes Discord server, which has a channel specifically for requesting songs and mix ideas, and I often have enough by then. Uh, after that, I order the songs into vibe segments, order each segment so it flows together, and BAM! I have myself an ordered mix. This is a little more haphazard, generally. I kind of just choose characters that will fit. But I also like shining a spotlight on characters I really love too. Characters like Shihiro and Rules, who I get to give a bigger spotlight as show picks, as well as others that just make me happy, such as Toon Link and DJ Candy. I will always try and do a little bit of research on characters, but I don't live and die by accuracy. This is an alternative universe style thing, so the characters may be different to how they are in the original media, whilst still being faithful or loving in their representation. Not really. I enjoy looking at the stats, but not because I necessarily want them to go up. The statistics and spreadsheets are just my love language. I like to play around and see what works and what doesn't. Uploading my emotional mix at 6am in the morning was kind of a test to see what would happen there. It got about 20 views in 12 hours. A fascinating study. I don't make these mixes to please the algorithm. Indeed, using non-original characters and video game music means that ideally I'll stay hidden and unseen from the powers that be for as long as possible. This is purely a passion project. Funnily enough, it was out of desperation. I made the second season of mixes on a computer powered by a potato battery, fueled by a hamster named Weasel. 
it couldn't handle Premiere Pro and my snazzy visual edits, so I had to use Windows' built-in video editor and have static images in the background with occasionally changing text. Uh, this was fine for a while, but it wasn't scratching the creative itch. Then I had an idea for my second cooking video. What if I used Microsoft PowerPoint to make a story that progressed through the video? I thought I could have myself failing to cook whilst stood next to Cooking Mama. The project was fun and well received, and I'd already hinted at a couple of story things, so I decided to keep going, and that slowly merged into an ongoing storyline. <laughs> I would say balancing the plot with the music. These are video game mixes first and foremost, so they have to be enjoyable to just listen to in the background. But I also like it when it works with the story too, and both aspects work hand in hand. I have to find a happy medium where the music doesn't control the story, but the story doesn't control the music. This way, the videos are enjoyable for both of my audiences, the people who are invested in the plot, and the people who just want to vibe to some nice songs while they do stuff. This can, at times, be a challenge, but I normally figure it out. Unsurprisingly, games with a lot of creative or storytelling potential. Uh, one of my favourite games at the moment is Pop-Up Dungeon, which lets you create characters, weapons, abilities, enemies, pretty much everything, and then put it all together in like a dungeon run style game. I've also recently gotten into games that allow me a lot of potential to add my own personal story, and I find Stellaris and Pokemon are both really good for that. Uh, the other games I like are indie games with stories that will make me laugh and punch me in the gut. Imagine stuff like One Shot, Omori, Iconoclasts, that sort of thing. Unsurprisingly, I am a major fan of Undertale and Deltarune, and I actually take a lot of inspiration from Toby Fox in terms of my writing style and tropes. My favourite Pokemon game is uh, Black and White. Uh, Gen 5 has my favourite music, and Black and White has a very distinct style and a very good storyline. Honourable mention to Sun, Moon and the Ultras though, for the same reasons. In general, my favourite games are Undertale and, as of recently, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, Delta Rune will be up there once it's done too, and honourable mentions to my weird childhood favourites, The Simpsons Hit and Run, Taz Wanted and Wacky Races starring Dastardly and Muttley. <laughs> I have not played this, but I'll give it a look if you'd recommend it. One of my favourite plots in any show is the ballroom episode. I like seeing characters getting dressed to the nines to infiltrate a venue that's way too rich for their blood. As seeing how they have to behave in an unfamiliar social setting is great fun, as is seeing how they dress. Uh, my other favourite thing is anything with a ragtag crew. I love ragtag crews who start out completely dysfunctional and then grow and adapt into a team that is still rather dysfunctional but has figured out how to work with each other. The mixing and combining of completely different personalities is extremely interesting. I have been writing since I was a child. Ever since I was five years old and my gran read me another chapter of the BFG every night. I knew that I wanted to bring the same wonderment and excitement that Roald Dahl brought me before I found out he was a jerk. I never really released anything publicly, uh, just honed my skills with personal projects over the years until I'm at this point now where I'm quite confident in my writing and I'm indeed working on a novel. My favourite thing to write is sci-fi, but in terms of vibes, I like writing adventures that are comedic and approachable whilst still being able to turn dark, surprising and capable of handling serious topics on a dime. A natural shift between the two is vital for me. Sometime soon, I hope to release my first novel, which will be a sci-fi adventure that hopefully fits in with these vibes. Finally, I would like writing stuff with good representation in, because in a world where that can be stifled, being able to help people feel seen is extremely empowering and exactly what I needed growing up. I would share the opinion of the asker. My favourite is probably the detective mix because it covers a topic I love, uh, but my other two favourites are my autumn mix and my serene mix. Don't be put off by the presence of Nagito Komaeda, it's actually really lovely. And that is all my questions. Thank you so much for asking them. I will now return to the communication medium of text box and allow the other four to answer the questions you sent to them.
Nope. 